turns oh, into oh, like a oh, scarlet. Oh, yeah, that's uh, one, out, one out of two in the country right now. Fish tank people, Dawson's Fish Tanks bringing it to you on a Sunday, baby. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. Me and this dog want to bring it to you today. A couple weeks back, I was up at the Aquatic Experience. I don't go out after shows. I go to the hotel room. I go to bed. You can click links around here and see how hard it was for us to get to that show. But I managed to take some time out and roll with my man Paul to my man Patrick's shop called Absolutely Fish. And this is an absolutely awesome shop. I am super pumped to be sharing with you. This shop is created by absolutely awesome people. I didn't even know him. He rolled up on me. My man Christian gives me a nice little tour of the freshwater section. Their salt is also to die for. They get in those crazy plants, fish, whatever. They also are a fantastic customer of ours on the wholesale side. I've known Patrick for about six years. He's been at every aquatic experience and spoke at every aquatic experience that they've had. Check out this video of Absolutely Fish and drop me a comment if you're in the New York, New Jersey area. What do you think of both this store and this staff? Check it out. Oh yeah, the French, yeah. They stay like that, don't they? Or they get, no, they get. I got a big one right behind Oh man, that was a beautiful fish. That's a cool fish. This is a cool tank. How big is this tank? A 150 cube. So it's a, uh, yeah, 3 by 3 by 3. Thank you. I didn't mean to make you. No, God, those anthies are so. Anyway. I had a purple tang named Rhonda Pauline. <laughs> Rhonda Pauline, the purple tang. She was awesome. And when she died, I gave up salt water. Oh. I gave up forever. You get rid of your pet. Uh, he Ronnie was my clown, maroon gold strap clown, and Rhonda Pauline. And I was just like, well, <laughs> that's it. Good work. Yeah, I gotta do a little work on this tank. Just... No, this is tight, man. For I'm what it is, it he's got the CO2 injector. It's pretty cool, man. We gotta, we gotta explore that. So that's an inline CO2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah Yo, the got... Taiwan plant is a plant we're gonna grow in 2.0 all day. Well, yeah, I, yeah. I started off with like a tiny, tiny little piece of that. I've... Yeah, they grow like mad. Yeah, I pull that, I pull that, or trim that back probably once a month at least. Dude, we need to get you one of our red nymphaeas and one of our tries in here. You need to get all three types no, of lotus no, in totally, this bitch. Totally. Come by tomorrow, I'll give you another one of the, that tricolor if you got it left. tricolor sitting down there. Yeah. So, uh, and then you got to get one of the nymphaeas, because then you'll have all like three different types of nymphaeas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In my yeah, opinion. Just those bulbs I handed you earlier. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love how our plants look here. They look fire over in that tank, dude. It's good to see. Oh, this fire eel. Oh, no, he, I just saw him. I was just like, huh? Yeah, it's cool. That's a bad fish, dude. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Yo, can you move that yeah, log yeah, yeah. for me? Thanks, man. You get that in from a customer? Or did yeah. you get, I was gonna say, that's a that's not like your, your standard. Holy cow. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. Damn. The red color. Oh, man. That's, he doesn't eat all those little rainbows? Not yet. Not yet? <laughs> I mean, he looks like he could do some, oh, that's a great fish. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, 200, this guy. Well, I mean, as it should be. Yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, that's a $200 fish. He, he's, like. He's not aggressive, but he's predatory. Hey, so he's got his own, he's predatory, but he can be around other stuff. Exactly, yeah. He doesn't like actively attack something and harass it until it dies. That's not his MO. But anything that's smaller than him, they can fit into his mouth. He's Dude, certainly he sounds like my flavor of fish, man. He's but you should chill. really keep him with larger fish, though. I'll Dude, him and like an arowana would be so tight. Uh, so you know, yeah. These guys came in. Oh, dude! Yeah, these guys are about two. I want those with me. They're I want to take those. They're super cool. Yo, I worked at a shop called RMS Aquaculture. Yeah. And a lady, uh, they ca yeah. the loaches came in like this, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they were like, they were like real. Their store was pretty anal, but they were like, listen, they're like. We'll sell you those loaches at the, at the price that we sell our other loaches. Yeah. We have first dibs on those, and I didn't take it, and I wish I would have. Dude, those super are fat. Cool. So I love these guys. Uh, yeah. These guys have been in the store for a bit. I, I just think they're fantastic. Yeah, yeah dude, they're, they're like fantastic. pets. Like, why, you know? Oh, yeah, I keep telling them, like, we got to keep one into one of our planet tanks. They're, like, super docile. They're, like, totally fine in these small yeah. tanks, too. Dude, you just got two of those? 
Yeah, we only have two of them. That's still, that's fine. At least you have two. Yeah, totally. You know, unless it is one random. So we also have this guy. This guy has been on the top of my list because of how beautiful his color is. This guy is a $600 oh! Pleco. Scarlet. Yeah. Dude, I just did a Pleco series video. Hot. Yeah, it's one of the nicest uh, fish oh that we currently God, have in the store. Dude. I mean, that red that's on the tail. It's, wow. Uh, of course, it's going to get bigger than what you see. Yeah. There. How's his temperament? Uh, he's, he's been okay in here. Uh, he hasn't been like chasing Jesus, anything at all. What is that? Do you know the L on it? L, yeah, there we yeah, go. He's, he's a L025. Wow. I got a theory on Plecos. They're like the dude at the bar that you never want to mess with. And he, won't, <laughs> he won't say a word. And but then if you, if you step to him the wrong them, way, he will tear you down. Totally, totally. You gotta I mean, watch your that hands. Fish. Yep. Oh, that's a freaking hot fish. Yeah, he's super cool. You guys so that's, that's that's shot. Hold behind. on, what's the so that's yeah. him? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's him. That's him. Got it. Yep. As as he should be. No. Nah. Thing is out of control. Standard lung. This is a lung fish, yeah. but he is so huge. Uh, I actually have a video of him sticking his whole body that's into awesome. this and getting caught like inside of it, but I thought I was clever with putting that red rock in there, but he just made everything messy in there. This is a cool one too. That's He's real a cool. dollar fish. Another, another customer one. Oh, that was Over cool, here? dude. I caught those in Peru. Mm -hmm. a guy named Devin Graham with Margarita Tours. Oh yeah, yeah. First cast goes, whoa, pulls up. He goes, anybody want a tiger shovel nose? And like pulls up one with like a mouth that big. Mouth I mean, they get, they get gigantic. They are predatory. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and this one though is one of my favorite fish. Uh, I Ooh. wish he was a little bit more colored up, but the black tail rock alone. You never like, see those. That that's. That looks pretty good to me. It looks okay, um, but sometimes you find him with a much more distinctive red pattern. Oh, you got a little tail. arowana just chilling up there. Yeah, yeah, and of course he's gonna get huge. With tanks yeah. like this, like these few tanks that we have, they're mostly predator tanks, and we match up the size so that it's correct with the uh, rest of the fish that's in here. Once some of these fish get larger. What's this guy, Eurypterus, or what's uh, it? No, I think we're seeing a long fin pleco of some sort. Oh, those are uh, fire. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, right out yeah, front. Yeah, oh, he's nice. actually a long fin bushy nose. Those are great. Yeah. What's he selling for? Yeah, super cool. Uh, Longfin bushy nose is $60. Dude, those, do, those don't eat plants, man. They don't eat plants, but they'll still, they still have the potential to bulldoze. Do they? Like, like any, any plant. They're small, but they've been getting more and more colorful over time, the German blue rams. We get, we you all, guys can keep blue rams easier? We keep blue rams right? with the discus. Yeah, they're actually docile enough that it's perfectly fine. You hear Jack, you hear Jack Wiley died? No. The head dude, the, you know Jack Wiley? Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. He died recently. Yeah, he died a couple weeks no back. Idea. Yeah, I mean, he, dude, he was 96, but still. Yeah, yeah. These are fat discus, though. Yeah, and you got the German Blue Rams. Yeah, yeah, we got uh, discus number. I always hate on discus, but uh, these are really oh, fire. The colors are nice. Hey, one thing that you really want to know about the way that we do displays. Which is, it. It's important for us because uh, these things are super popular right now. The colors have been changing over time. But we use different colored lights to be able to accent the reds. Uh, in them. So we're, we're using Finex lights, but those reds help to make it pop. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really nice. Uh, you know what? Sometimes I'm sorry. You know, sometimes when we pull them out of the tank, the diminished color just a little bit. Uh, some people are expecting to be that bright, but uh, the light does a lot to do. Wow. That's a good, it's a good strategy. Not it's a, a good technique. So people who have discus tanks at home, we recommend having a light where you can push up the red value so that it ha stuff like this can happen. Oh, these are all fire! Right? Oh, Maniquetti yeah, for days. Maniquetti. You got, which one you looking at down here? That big dude. The right there, there, yeah, there. yeah, he's nasty. You know how nasty Yeah, yeah. Is. Yeah, this is, I, I love Severums, you know. This is a uh, Rock Eel. Uh, Rock Eel? Yeah, Rock Eel. Oh. Yeah, it's reddish color. I gotta get my plant people up here and yeah, show this real quick. There. I noticed you brought some, some red ones and stuff too. Oh, uh, we, yeah. we try to bring the heat with the red. Yeah, that's so good. Yeah, well, we're, uh, we got you guys dosing it right, but yeah, we I do enough plant videos. Y'all can see absolute fish. Come check them out. Hell yeah, thank but uh, oh, look at these little dudes. I love the color on those. <laughs> got any other yeah. crazy cyclids or any like tanganyika eels or anything like that? Uh, all the crazy cichlids you're gonna be finding. Oh wow! Yeah, so you guys just keep them up here like this and like little like war yeah, pens? Well, for two reasons, some of them are aggressive, and then the other ones they, they. That's smart. I've never seen people separate cichlids out like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably. I like these obies. These are some of my favorites. Yo, my boy at Imperial Tropicals does oh, some really- I have one. I rarely see this, this color. Do you, uh, you, I don't know if you've- Oh, this, I had one like this. The rubies? Yeah, we, we keep the female rubies up here as well. So you keep the male, that's tight. Yeah, and then we have African cichlids all over on this side. Uh, we wow. keep like oh, smaller well, steps. Yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna point out. Uh, that one is the- I wouldn't know it if you told me. On a lamp. This is the cows. I got you. Brian, that's for you, bud. Yeah. 
they get they get cycled. Yeah. Very cool. I love